hello everyone welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys you can see the error on the screen no boot device found press any key to reboot the machine so i am using here the dell laptop guys and if you are using here the dell system also i mean the pc so the same steps you need to follow here so i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue easily so first of all guys we need to make sure that we have the hard drive installed in the BIOS or the SSD as the error no boot device found so we have to check that so in order to go into the BIOS you need to press F2 key on the Dell laptop so in here guys you need to press Control or delete button together or you can forcefully just shut it down just hold for almost 30 seconds or even 15 seconds is enough okay now it is properly shut down turn it on again and continuously hit the F2 key as soon as it loads like this okay this is very important step guys and once you go to the BIOS option here okay you need to look for the boot sequence this option okay and make sure your hard drive is showing here internal sdd and discable drive should be on the top in my case as you can see here uh, this should be the the priority number or even you, you can turn it off like the first one external sdd and then click on apply and then click on exit and see if it fixed the issue so basically our goal is to make sure that the bootable drive is on the priority on the first so you need to order the sequence and then make it on the first if your issue is fixed then well and good if not proceed with the second step so again we need to press ctrl alt delete button or you can forcefully shut down it so let me press ctrl alt delete so I have pressed Ctrl or Delete and again I will continuously hit the F2 key. Now this time guys go to the boot sequence option again. Okay it is not going there. Okay and this time select the UEFI. So this is the BIOS order i mean that there are two terms that is one is legacy and second one is uefi if our system is not working with the uefi choose the i mean if your system is not working with the legacy choose the uefi and if your system is not working with the uefi choose the legacy option so i'm going to choose here the uefi okay and as you can see here my hard drive is showing here okay so I'm going though it should be on the priority as you can see here the hard drive name is showing here Jibronix ST okay once you have changed the boot order and the BIOS mode there are two BIOS mode guys the older one is legacy and the newer one is UEFI so UEFI should work in both of the cases click on apply click on exit and now see if it is fix the issue so let's check we will troubleshoot this issue step by step and try to resolve the issue from the root cause so it seems like window is booting so my issue seems to be okay and it seems to be resolved since the BIOS mode is different so in your case it should fix the issue guys since the BIOS mode is changed from the legacy to UEFI if still not fix your issue move on to the step number 3 in the step number 3 guys we will restore our default setting when you must have purchased the windows laptop so there should be the factory default setting inside your laptop 
especially in the Dell I'm talking about you can see here the straight away the option load default just hit this option and click on OK it will automatically load the suitable setting for your laptop and it will resolve the issue so this is the step number three to, to resolve the issue if this also doesn't fix your issue we can move on to the fourth step in the fourth step guys we need to make sure that the hardware is okay I mean the hard drive is showing as well as its condition is okay I have restarted the laptop again and I will continuously hit the F2 key and some of the setting you need to make sure from the BIOS as well date and time also make sure it is correct here so scroll down look for date and time and you need to make sure date and time is ok here as well so if not change it and see if it fix the issue or not and also guys you need to make sure if you have selected the BIOS mode to UEFI so you can enable the secure boot here ok this will support but if you have supported the legacy option here okay this will not support UEFI will support only secure boot but legacy mode will not support the secure boot so make sure if you have selected the legacy it should be off and disabled and if you have selected the UEFI it's up to you it should be on and also guys you need to go to the system configuration and make sure SATA operation is selected here as AHCI and if you have the another option okay like the SATA operation is there and other operation so first of all choose the AHCI make sure it is enabled okay and check if it is fixed the issue or not and also you need to make sure that the hard drive is showing here so we can check that so press F12 key on our keyboard we are going to run the hardware diagnostic test press the F12 key guys this time and once you press the F12 key this time you can see the boot priority is showing here Windows UEFI boot and you can also run the diagnostic test here just hit enter yes we are able to see that yes battery is showing some error so this oh, now press processor fan is testing here so let it run and make sure all the tests are passed here if anyone is fail you have to replace that hardware i mean the hard drive or the ram so most of the cases the hard drive should fail in this case so replace that so all the tests are run here go to this arrow key and you can see here guys all the tests are passed except the battery error so if anyone is failed here hard drive is okay here if it is failed you have to replace that and also you can drain the power socket errors guys if you have any just hold on the power key for almost 15 seconds remove the removable battery and see if it fix the issue so this is how guys you can fix the issue so hope this video helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech